Welcome back fellow programmers, my name is Alex Slui. This is Introduction to C++. What I want to go over today is how to swap elements in an array. So basically what you want to do is you want to try and see if you can switch one element in one array with the other without losing data, obviously. So logically, what we want to do is you have an array here that you've declared with five elements going from zero to four. The problem here is that we want to put whatever is in element zero or index zero and put it in index four and then whatever is in index four put it in index zero. So the solution would be to actually introduce something called a temp variable. It's temp variable is just an integer or any type of variable, it doesn't have to be an integer, I'm making an integer in this example because we're using integer arrays. But you basically will have your temp variable store a value temporarily. And in this particular case, what we're doing is we're taking whatever's in element zero and storing it in our temp value. Because now if I want to write over element zero, I already have a copy of that in my temp variable. So essentially what you're doing is just you're just making a copy of that value outside of the array. And there's no way to do a swap without introducing a temp variable because you're going to lose data. So for you to do a swap you would declare a temp variable outside of the array and then after that things become simple because now I'll put whatever is in element 4 into element 0. Now whatever is in element 0 is gone forever except for the fact that I made a copy before I wrote it over. So now I have 50 which is the value that's coming from element 4. Now I want to put 10 in index 4 and I can do that because I have my copy in my temp variable. So then if I do that and I just copied it over and everything stays as is. Temp variable value won't change after you assign it so it stays with the value 10 and now we've swapped indexes 0 and 4. Now let me show you the code. So in this particular example I'm declaring an array of size 5. It's an integer array. I'm asking for input so I can fill it up and I'm going to show you the example when we fill up the values and then now I want to re re swap those the zeroth index with with the fourth element and I've done my declaration of my tenth variable here and I've assigned it the zeroth index value and then the zeroth index value is going to get whatever is in the last element. So I do size minus 1 because if I do 5, I don't have any element at 5. I, I'm going to have an element at 4 because remember you go from 0 to 4. Okay. And then last but not least, now we take our temp variable and copy it over into our last element. So let's take a look at this and then at the end I write it over so you see the same var the same um, array and now it's in reverse order so if I compile and run it's gonna ask me for five elements so I'm gonna say 10 20 30 40 and 50 now at this point when I enter press enter my array will be s filled up and at and over here is when I do my swapping. Okay, so my uh, my array looks like the way that we had it in the picture where you have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 from element 0 to 4. And now what you're going to see is we're going to swap the last element with the first which now you would have 50, 20, 30, 40, 10. If I press enter, there it is. There it is. Now, if we want to see the array beforehand, okay, there's something I didn't show you. We can just take this. 
not see out an inline. Okay, so let's take a look at it, and this would be uh, before swap, and this is after swap. Okay, now if I run this, you're going to see the result. So let's take a look. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So before swap, I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And then the after the swap, I have 50, 20, 30, 40, 10. And that's it. That's how I would swap one element of the array. On the next video, I'm going to show you how to actually reverse an array. I'm going to actually, actually show you how to reverse the values in an array. If you have any questions on this, you can always contact me at parttimeadjunct at gmail.com or go to parttimeadjunct.com. Thanks for listening. Happy programming.